Welcome to Express with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about filter transformation in mapping data flow in Azure Data Factory. The filter transformation allows row filtering based upon a condition. The output stream includes all rows that matching the filtering condition. The filter transformation is similar to the where clause in SQL. So uh, you can get the idea from here, like what exactly it need to be done. Because uh, if uh, let's say you are in a SQL server and uh, you have this table called total sale. Now I can implement multiple type of filtering here with the where clause. So let's say if I would like to get the data only for region uh, where is region is equal to Asia. So that's possible. Just I will say region is equal to Asia. Now also I can um, let, um, put multiple filtering on a let's uh, include the ID and we can say something like the end ID is greater than uh, six. Okay. So now if you run this, uh, it's going to get you those records. Uh, on SQL, this is pretty easy and straightforward, but uh, you also have this uh, transformation in the Azure Data Factory because you will be reading the records um, uh, from maybe CSV file, maybe Excel file, so different uh, data sources uh, you will be using and you need to filter those records before you insert into the destination and use them. So that's uh, possible by using a filter activity here. Now let's go to the Azure Data Factory here in the blob storage. Uh, I have uh, input container and in the input container we have files. One of the files is called the total sale. This is exactly the same file what we have there in the uh, data I just showed you right there. So what I'm doing here, I'm uh, saving this data and then I'm going to show you the preview of this data. So you see right there we have sale person first name that has some null values there and also we have region here that we can use for filtering or any other one. In scenario, this scenario I'm going to use region and the sale person first name. Now we are all good here. Let's go to the Azure Data Factory and we are going to go to the data flows. Click right there, new data flow. And we are going to name this one DF filter. So we will use that name. And here we'll make a connection to our file. Go to the data set here, hit new and Azure Blob Storage. Now CSV file because we are using CSV file and let's create a new link service. So here I'm going to use subscription and my storage account. Let's create this uh, link service and now we'll navigate to our input folder or container and then select file called total sale. Hit OK here. Yes, it does have a uh, header row. So that's fine. Import schema. Yes. OK. Now we are all good here and uh, what we are going to do now if you go right here in the data preview refresh, you're going to get the data from this file. But we would like to filter this data. So I'm going to use filter uh, transformation there. But uh, let's wait for a second and get the data here. So you can see how exactly the data look here. So you can take a look here. Sale person first name have some null values here. And if I will scroll on the right side, I have region Asia, North America and Europe. So what I would like to do here, I'm going to add a filter here and then uh, We'll just click on filter and now you can add condition. So it is in filter on and enter here. So expression can go here. So you're going to open a, a expression builder here and then you can write all those expressions here. So you have plus, minus and you know, multiply, equal uh, and all different operators here. And then you have these columns here and then you have tons of functions available that you can use. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to select or filter only for a region equal to Asia. So click on region column here and then equal to equal to double quotes and Asia. So now we should be looking the data for only Asia. So we filter the data for Asia. Let's refresh and then uh, it's going to get us uh, that sample data. So it's going to show us uh, the records after filtering. Now you can see that uh, it is uh, giving us this tick mark uh, wherever this uh, uh, expression qualifies or it is uh, true. So for Asia, see right there, reason Asia, and these are the records coming through four records. Uh, and then you have a cross mark across uh, other records. Uh, so that's fine. What we are going to do is save and finish. Now uh, we can go ahead and uh, add our sync here. And in the sync, I'm going to go make our uh, data set to my Azure uh, table. So here I will say SQL and then uh, Azure SQL database and then uh, I will hit new and uh, go to my subscription select my SQL database server name database name and then provide my username and password now we will provide the password here test our connection 
and looks good and now we will select our table I have a table called the total sale so we are going to use that one yes hit ok and now what we will do we will truncate this table and reload I'm going to go to settings and truncate this table and then reload now we go to the pipeline and we will call our data flow that we just created so it's called DFO filter now we hit a debug and it's going to read the data from our CSV file that has data for all regions but it's going to filter the records for only Asia and the right to the table now let's go right here that's our table and the executor as of now it has the data for everything so we have Asia data here Europe data and North America once our pipeline is completed it should have only Asia data our data flow has been completed successfully and our pipeline so let's go ahead and take a look on the data here and I'm just uh, selecting the entire table select everything from this table and you can see that uh, we have some data for Asia only now there are some columns which are null so think about that I want to have another condition uh, where I would like to only load the data from Asia but uh, also non null values um, so that I can go back and change my filter here let's go back to our uh, data flow here go to filter again and now instead of just region Asia we can go to expression builder again and then we can say uh, expression our and and we are looking for sale person uh, first name so I can use is null here and then uh, once I use the is null and I can say if uh, equal to false so that means uh, what I'm looking here and uh, let me say is null this function we have that right there is null okay so this is how it is and then I uh, just copy this part because that was a uh, uppercase and lowercase so that's why okay so we use is null and here we are telling that if uh, it is uh, let me delete this extra parenthesis false now what this will do uh, is going to check if the region is Asia and then also it's going to look for the now uh, uh, what you call the if it is a true or false so now if uh, this is false uh, that means uh, we are gonna uh, let's refresh and I'm gonna show you so we are gonna get all the records of where they are non null okay so if it is true then it means uh, it, there is a null value so we don't want to get that records uh, so we want to get those records of where is null is uh, gonna return as false that means uh, there are some values here so you can see right there and uh, if you see we have Asia null that uh, does not qualify for our expression that means uh, we are going to get Asia with non null values uh. so that's uh, also Asia with the Chirag and uh, that's also a valid value and here where you say null it's the same it's not gonna uh, give us uh, in the output uh. so we will hit uh, save and finish and our expression is we are saying we are looking for Asia region and we are looking for the sale person's first name which are not uh, null uh. So we are all good here. We can go to sync now again, and uh, then um, it's going to delete or truncate the data before load. So we should be fine. Go to pipeline. Let's rerun our uh, pipeline, and uh, it should load only non-null data from for Asia region. Now, what we learned from here, uh, the multiple expressions can be written the same way what we have written in the where class, so like uh, reason is equal to Asia, id is greater than one, or whatever the in the where class uh, you can uh, put. Uh, so the same expressions uh, can be written uh, in the filter. So that's very helpful uh, to get uh, the correct data or the, you want to filter, you are getting tons of data. Sometimes you are getting uh, like null values in multiple column. You want to ignore those column. You can uh, write the expressions in the filter and it will uh, ignore those records for you and give you the output uh, which is the clean data so now let's go back here in the table and uh, let's just uh, select everything from this table and now you can see that we are getting the data for Asia and uh, we are getting the all the records of where a salesperson first name is not a null so I hope uh, this video is helpful thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video